Hello and welcome to Stories Mother Told. For today's story, we're going all the way to the Morogoro region of Tanzania. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let me take you back to Africa. Today's story is titled, The Hair and the Water. Once upon a time, there was a village known as Singina. Many different animals, such as the lion, antelope, giraffe, and tortoise lived in this village. The giraffe was their king. One day, there was a shortage of water in the village. There were no natural springs and not enough rain, so this was a big problem. King Giraffe called a meeting of all animals in the village to discuss how to solve the problem. They all agreed to dig a well that they believed would provide enough water for all. The hare, however, was against the idea, as he did not want to dig. All the animals gathered together and dug the well. The hare did not help. Instead, he spent his time laughing at the animals as they were digging. Within a short time, the animals had good clean water. King Giraffe, however, prohibited the hare from using the well. Since hare could not get any water, he decided to trick the animals. He went to the elephant who was on duty to guard the well and said, I have some honey, which is very sweet. Would you like to taste it? The elephant tried some, and liking it very much, he asked for more. The hare said, I will give you more honey, but first, I have to tie your hands and legs. You will enjoy it even more that way. The hare then tied up the elephant and jumped into the well. He drank some water, swam and ran away laughing and laughing. King Giraffe was very angry to hear that the hare had tricked the elephant. The next day, King Giraffe made the antelope the well guard, but the hare tricked him too. The king tried each of the animals in the village, and the hare tricked each and every one of them. The king was very furious. Finally, it was Tortoise's turn to guard the well. He sat inside the water, waiting for the hare to come. The hare eventually came and proudly jumped into the well, thinking that there was no guard at all. But the tortoise caught him, and took him to the king, who punished him severely. Ever since then, the animals have lived in peace, enjoying their clean, fresh water. Thank you for listening to today's story. As usual, please do not forget to rate and review the podcast on iTunes and any other platforms that you do listen on, as this is a great help to the podcast. Do not forget to share the podcast with a friend and subscribe so you do not miss an episode. If there are any stories you would like to listen to, send me an email at storiesmothertoad at gmail.com or on Instagram at Stories Mother Told. Remember, for all black history needs for your kids, check out the website www.tantimo.com. And if you enjoy scary African stories, check out the podcast African Horror Stories. Until next week, see ya!